Welcome back, everyone, to the Empire of Britannia. My first full episode as an emperor, which we achieved in the last episode. If you haven't seen the story all the way up to this point, and there's a lot of it, there's a link in the description below that will take you all the way back to episode one. As I dive into today's episode, the first and most important thing I need to do is I'm looking at my son, Prince Edward, and I'm going to forbid him from being a knight, even though he's quite a powerful one, and he's one of the more powerful ones I have. I do not need to be losing my son and heir at this point. I do want to get some more powerful knights, though, so eventually I'm going to work on that. But for now, what we need to do is stabilize our empire. Uh, we need to finish up mopping up by grabbing up what's left, which means, uh, among other things, usurping the Kingdom of Scotland, which I will do once I have the gold to do it which i don't have right now but i will get and then we'll kind of go from there it is now up to me to lead the vast empire left behind i stand before my vassals adjust my new crown and nod energetically oh the things that i will accomplish all right well i won't accomplish much because i'm 63 years old but i'm glad that we were able to achieve that during my lifetime emperor edward awesome love it so I do have a son, Edward, who's 37 years old and will inherit not only the Empire of Britannia, but the kingdoms as well. He is the only son, so he's going to inherit everything. Uh, that's why we have to protect him and make sure he stays safe. And then from him, uh, we've got a grandson, Seinhelm, uh, and then two grand... Oh no, that's a son as uh, well, Edward, who's six years old. The long hair threw me off a little bit. And then a granddaughter. So that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Let's look at our house, which is reputable. Obviously, it's it's grown quite large these days. Uh, if you go all the way back to Petty King Edward I, where it, uh, actually, that's not where it began. It began here with Earl Edward of Warwickshire. And you can see how large the tree has grown since then. And there's a lot of uh, cadet branches that have formed over time some of whom, it appears, are imprisoned at the moment. But I'm not going to get into all that. Speaking of houses, look at the territory controlled by this house. I mean, that's crazy. And then this house here, I mean, large parts of the world are controlled by just those three houses. I wonder if that's all one realm as well. It is all. Look at the Byzantine Empire. My goodness. Byzantine Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, and Poland basically roll two-thirds of Europe right now. Which means once we solidify things in Britannia, I feel like France and Aquitaine might be doable. Uh, I'd especially like to solidify all of Spain under Christendom if we're able to get to that point. But I'm thinking way off in the future. I sit brooding on my throne my heart heavy with a memory, mulling over things I did years and years ago. Has my pride led me here? Do I have commensurate fall waiting to doom me? Have I ever truly done the right thing? My head throbs. Why would God task me with ruling if he knew it would make me this miserable? My stress has reached level two. I cannot make mistakes. I am an emperor. That will stress me out more. I can get irritable and lose some stress. Uh, I can go off to the whorehouse. All right, fine, whatever. Whatever relieves the stress at this point. Who cares if I get a disease? I can't usurp the primary title of someone fighting a war. So as long as Scotland's in the war, I cannot do anything about it. Uh, in the meantime, what's going on here? I've been called. I guess it's too late now. I'm not going to worry about it. The crusade's not going well. I feel like I'm just not going to get involved in that. There's really no point. I'm trying to save up. I'm making a decent amount of money these days. We have a disabled building in Limerick. How do we undisable it? Oh, I don't hold the duchy title, that's why. Um, we've got a lot of titles that can be created and I could grant to people. So I'm going to go ahead and create those titles and then give them out to people in my family, perhaps. It costs a lot of my gold. But let's go ahead and look at some of these titles. Kingdoms, obviously we're not going to give out. But duchies, that's a different story. 
Because I'm sure that I hold too many duchies right now. I do. Um, all right, let's start with Mercia. Let's grant that to somebody. We could destroy the title. No, obviously we don't want to do that. Okay, let's take a look here. What can we give out? Fife. That's making me money, but... The Petty Kingdom of Albany. We can give that to my son, Prince Edward. We still hold too many. Who else in my family can I give titles to? That's kind of the thing I'm thinking about here. I've got my daughter who's married to Duke Jocelyn of Kent. What about my grandson? He's 12. He's a bold villain. I could give him a title. But a lot of them are the, just the earldoms right now, and then I'd have to give them whatever goes over top of it. And I think I'll think about this a little while longer. I think I will grant a kingdom to my son and everything that goes with it. The Kingdom of Ireland. So Prince Edward is now the King of Ireland. As I'm obviously being a emperor now, I can grant kingdoms to different people. Who can I make steward? Looks like the Duke of York is our best option right now for that. I now have the ability to create up to eight men-at-arms regiments. And obviously I've got a decent amount of income right now, so I'm going to think about where I can go with this. What do I have? Bowmen, light horsemen, light footmen, trebuchets, huskarls, and armored horsemen. Uh, so I... I want to get something I don't have. I don't have crossbowmen yet. Let's get some of those. And I want to upgrade my armored horsemen as well. Let's go to size 5 on those. I still have to deal with holding too many duchies. So I've got to look at other people that I can pass things on to. Alright, my grandson's going to get a duchy. Uh, what can we give him? We can't give him our capital. Can't give him Wales. I don't really have a good option as far as the duchies go. I'm just going to have to hang on to him for now, I guess. All right, let's spend a little bit of this 2,700 prestige that I have to find some new knights. Because we could desperately use some better knights in our realm. Uh, my son Edward is the highest ranking in terms of his prowess, but we have banned him from being able to do it. So let's take a look at who we've got available now. All right, William is excellent. Let's spend the 40 gold to get him. Uh, Ethelred's not bad. We'll uh, get him in there as well. That gets us up to 13. I'm going to ban some of these low ones, like Duke of Dubarth is 2. Uh, yeah, going to pass on that, buddy. In fact, I don't want anybody that's anywhere close to that low. We're going to forbid all the lowest ranking people. And that's going to give us room for some better ones. Ah, Broken Cross. The warriors of St. George found only death and humiliation at the gates of Syria. The crusade so eagerly called and supported by Pope Marinus ended in a disastrous defeat that has only hurt the cause of the faithful. This will surely embolden more blasphemers and infidels to further stray from Catholicism. Alright. The crusade's over. That's actually good news because I don't have to worry about being called for that. I still hold too many duchies, but nothing I'm going to really worry about right now. I can transfer the Duke of Meath to King Edward uh, to the proper liege. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, what about knights? Have anybody new available? Not really. Here's another one for 30 gold. Prestige or uh, prowess skill 18. So we are improving the knights of our realm significantly from the people that we had in there before if only 
Uh, my nephew. Okay, we, we'll recruit my nephew. Eleven's not bad. King Edward, my son, is just improving. He's up to 26 now, but we still cannot afford for him to fight. Although he's got, you know, sons of his own now. So if something were to happen to him, there is always the grandson we can pass it on to. But he's a child right now. And we know what happens when you pass empires on to children. That's not something we want to mess with. I'm living a long time, though, man. I am 66 years old. This is fantastic. By and large, I have a pretty good relationship with my vassals. The major exception to that is the Duke of Man, which I believe he may have been the person I usurped um, in taking that t uh, title from him. So obviously that's why he doesn't like me very much. Uh, so let's go ahead and start a scheme to try and sway him. Oh man, and no sooner had I stopped recording than Emperor Edward I has passed away. He ruled for 41 years. And now the throne passes to Edward II of Britannia. He is 40 years old. We will continue on as the head of our house. With the passing of my father, Emperor Edward, the responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls upon my shoulders. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown, and brush my shirt. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. New patriarch. So instead of having a suffrage and bishop, we actually have a patriarch now. I invite you to a feast at Worcester. This guy hates my guts, so I'm going to say no. But I will start accepting some feasts if I get along with the person uh, that is inviting me to said feast. So, oh, he, he, he took a loan out? All right. Yeah, pay off that loan. Choose the lifestyle. Martial education. So, we'll go Marshall. Boy, look at that. He's got this whole section filled out on Marshall. That's fantastic. Um, how about authority focus? Let's try that. We haven't done that one yet. So now we need to take a look at things. Obviously, a lot will have changed. we got to fill out our council. The Duke of Essex, who hates my guts. We're going to give him a position, and then we're going to work on trying to sway him. Boy, we got a lot of people who don't like us very much. That was not the case with my father. My father was well-liked by most of his people. Not going to be the case anymore, so we're going to have some work to do to correct that. I don't think we want to per make a person who hates me that much spy master. Uh, so we're going to have to go here. Okay, now let's work on these relationships. Uh, let's look at this whole situation here. We've got too many held duchies. Uh, we're going to have to deal with some of that. We can ask our head of faith for 735 gold. Yes, please. We have wars that can be declared, titles that can be usurped. Kingdom of Scotland, obviously we don't have enough gold, and they're still fighting a war. And we've got to deal with some of these titles here. Um, I'm going to try to pass some of them on to my kids if I can. Kingdom of Wales would be a good one to pass on to a son. But that's going to give up three earldoms that I currently hold. And those are giving me a lot of revenue. So uh, I think we'll probably go Ireland. And that comes with two petty kingdoms as well. I'm going to pass all of that to my son, Edward, who's nine years old. All right. And with that, I lose a council position. Uh, steward. The Duchess of Cornwall. Interesting. Okay. All right, now I'm looking at my eldest son and heir and seeing what I can possibly pass on to him. I don't really have any good options, unfortunately. So we'll have to try to take the kingdom of Scotland for him when I can. In the meantime, I've got to work on these vassals and get them a little more on my side than they are right now. The Duke of Northumbria I'm concerned about. 
uh, the Duke of Meath. I think I'm going to start with my brother-in-law, the Duke of Kent. We could negotiate an alliance. I don't know if that would work out. We could grant him a title. No, I don't think that'll happen. Sway. Sway it is. Okay, let's host a feast. See if we can increase a bunch of vassals' opinions of me in short order. The mood is bright. Things are going well. Let's see how this feast is received by the vassals. Uh, not worried about that too much. Gamal's Fowlery. A f no feast is complete without a prank. Main thing is here, we just want to improve our standing with these folks. My feast ends. I will call upon you again. Every guest who attended gained 20 opinion of me. Not entirely sure that a lot of the people who hate my guts attended, though. We do have a dangerous faction that wants to try and usurp the Kingdom of Wales. I'll have to keep an eye on that. So I have no allies at the moment. Uh, I want to look to my fellow emperors. So I'm thinking Byzantine and Holy Roman empires. We need to find a spouse for my son and heir. I'm going to do that by rank. The Duchess of Antioch. Uh, no, that doesn't really work. Uh, let's go to the Holy Roman Empire and just look at the children of the Holy Roman Emperor. we got a princess here who's 13. She's already betrothed. Is there any possibility of breaking that betrothal? I don't know. Okay, so the 8-year-old princess, the daughter of Kaiser Martin, is not betrothed. Uh, so there's an option there for us. My son, Edward. Well, that's my second son. I guess that would work. Although that wouldn't help me with alliances once my other son inherits. But I think we'll try it. A marriage between the two great emperors. Children. Excellent news. How about betrothing my eldest son to the daughter of the Byzantine Emperor. She's seven. He's 14. I think that would work. So now that would give us my two sons would be betrothed to the daughters of the other two great empires in Europe. Good stuff. What's France looking like these days? Fairly powerful. King Guy IV. Wondering about one of his children. Uh, he's already betrothed. I'm thinking about my daughters now. Okay. How about my daughter, Princess Kutberg? We could do a matrilineal marriage to the Prince of France, and they will accept that. He will actually become a part of my house. Love it. All right. It's good to be the emperor. That's all I can say. We've got an empty council position now. Uh, chancellor. Yeah, we'll make the Duke of York the chancellor. We can now usurp the kingdom of Scotland. No, we can't. He's still fighting a war. Dude, would you stop fighting wars so I can usurp your title? Who's he at war with? Norway. My counselor, the Duke of Essex, died from being ill. That's who we, I guess, who we replaced. I'm looking at the current counselors that I have, and they're pretty decent. Um, what can I use my wife to do? Court intrigue seems to be her best area. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll boost the intrigue somewhat. Things are going well all the way around. We still have too many duchies, duchies but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I want to look at the 
counties that I have, we've got one that doesn't have good control. Let's go to our council and work on that. I think that's here in Wales, it is. Other than that, things are going pretty well, it seems. There's not really any counties I need to be fabricating claims on right now. I'm going to grant Somerset and the Petty Kingdom of Wessex to my son Eadred. My son Edward's got Ireland already. My eldest son, obviously, is going to inherit Britannia, England, England and he's the heir to Ireland. Uh, so, yeah, I think that'll work. We still hold too many duchies. I don't think I can hold more than two. I can transfer transfer Meath to Kingdom of Ireland. Let's do that. All right, so to my liege, I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Norwich. Um, Duke Robert of East Anglia, he's my brother-in-law. We don't get along well, but most of that is because he wants a seat on the council and uh, because he fears me. So I think we'll take we'll go ahead and accept that. If something happens, I'm, I'm going to realize that my fear of feasts was well-founded. But if nothing happens, it's an opportunity to improve my standing with somebody with whom I haven't had a good standing. A loud crash resounds through the great hall as one of the doors to the service quarters break. I, in a barely clothed tumble, my vassal Earl Roger and my acquaintance Duchess Alice spill out onto the floor in front of everyone. Well then, that's my sister-in-law, Alice of East Anglia, who's getting it on with the Earl of Suffolk. That's kind of a big deal. But not something I'm going to worry too much about. Feast, please do gone. I listen intently to Duke Robert as he carelessly reveals all manner of things. Ah, oh boy. What a good evening, Empress Amis, my do my wife, gains opinion of me. Looks like the Kingdom of Scotland's doing pretty well in this war right now. We lose 20 stress, gain 15 opinion of Duke oh, with Duke Robert. Excellent. How's the war going there, Scotland? You better stay at war, buddy. It's the only thing keeping you holding on to that kingdom. I probably could use the piety of a pilgrimage. Alright, Jerusalem. Oh, 752 gold. But you know what? I'll be able to turn around and, and spend some piety to gain the gold back. So it's probably worth it. As an emperor, I probably should do such things. Alright, we arrived in Jerusalem. My wife, Empress Amis, is pregnant. How old is she? Oh, she's only 34. She's young. Problem is, i got a lot of sons already. I've got, what, four sons? Five sons? Four sons and two daughters. This is a, the biggest family I've had for quite a while. Now, I need to turn around and use some of that piety to get some of that gold back. Well, I hate to see this happen, but it's probably not, in the grand scheme of things, the worst thing in the world. But uh, my, my wife lost the baby. 41 years old, so I could be on the throne for a long, long time to come. And it looks like my eldest son and heir is of age. We've got an alliance with the Holy Roman Emperor. We've got an alliance with the Byzantine Emperor, and we've got an alliance with the King of France. I mean, does it get any better than that? Look at the military strength of my allies. 51,000, potentially, from the levies, and then uh, just massive amounts of the professional soldiers. Uh, boy, I can really call on a powerful force right now. But I still... Oh, I can. He's finally no longer at war. Give me that Kingdom of Scotland. Thank you. Oh, the Kingdom of Scotland is an elective title. So we we can nominate an heir. I'm going to nominate my eldest son. Dangerous faction. Still over the Kingdom of Wales. 
Yeah, I already nominated my son. Uh, I guess I didn't actually hit the cast vote button. There's 18 electors, there's 55 candidates. And right now my son is second in line. Oh boy. A sick feeling arising in my stomach. I try to make it back to my chambers, but the door shrinks before my very eyes. What is happening? Suddenly I can smell something, something I know I've smelled before, but where? A servant asks me if I'm all right, but I cannot answer her. I cannot do anything. Ooh, boy. Is somebody trying to poison me? All right. We do have people that don't like us very much. So let's go to Intrigue. I'm looking to see... Wait, my is that my wife? She attempted to murder someone. Alright, we need to figure out what's going on. Because obviously there's somebody that wants bad things for me. And he happens to be in Worcestershire here, this guy. So, um, No, that's not happening. I'm not entirely sure what to do here. I can claim his title. I'll start there. I'm possessed. They're looking at me as if I'm possessed. This is not good news. We need an exorcism. Oh my gosh, no. And what's going on over here? It looks like Britannia is losing some... Oh man, I don't know what's going on with Ireland. I'm a little concerned about that. New perk for martial lifestyle. Propose an alliance. Yeah, let's do that. Causes Belli cost down. That would be really good. Dangerous faction. They're not that dangerous. Not too worried about that. So it looks like my son over in Ireland is giving independence to people, and I'm not okay with it. I could seize the Grand Principality of Munster and get it back. I could seize the county. Either way, I'm going to seize something, because I'm not okay with what's happening over there. Spouse, acting on my behalf, my wife spends a significant amount of time traveling the realm with her honor guard. My empress and I stand ready in defense of the realm. Okay. Uh, and now we've got a peasant revolt happening. Not too worried about that. Because we've got major powerful allies that we can call if needed, but I don't need them is the thing. Alright, we got to change the rally point for our military. We'll go here. We'll start sending that army to go deal with the peasant rabble. The army of Aachen. Is that a German force? So this particular war, there's only 13 or 3,800 on that side. The peasant uprising, only 2,900. Either way, my two armies can easily divide and conquer. Here's the end of that one. And now we'll send both armies across. Although it may make sense at this point to disband this one. It'll save me money. And I've got more than enough troops to handle the other ones. Well, I had to raise the rest of the army because uh, the battles were... He was It was taking me forever in my siege and he was besieging other places so it wasn't going that great. Um, movement speed, organized march. I like that idea. 
helps me catch people faster that might be trying to get away, especially since I'm going to typically have larger armies than the people I'm facing. So now we just need to deal with these other places that have been under siege. I'm going to break off enough from this army to hold the siege. We'll split it in half. And then we'll send half to go besiege over here. Is this my enemy army here? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. We took those territories back. Now what I need to do is I need to go get this one. I'll send the main force to go destroy his army. Maybe if we capture our opponent, that'll be the end of it. No, you stay there. Yeah, he's there. If we can capture him, that'll do it. And I think we did. Excellent. All right, enforce demands. There, that looks a lot better. Disband the armies. Start making money again. All is well. And I think we're going to wrap it up right there. A lot happened in that episode, but things are continuing to go well. We have just a few more counties, and we will have consolidated all of Britannia under our banner. We've got some powerful allies in the meantime. Things are going really, really well. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. We'll be back again soon. Thanks for watching.